Hi, I'm Pastor Noel Monzon of Shepherd's Pastor Assembly here in San Diego, and I'd like to give you a word of encouragement today. Today is um, Tuesday, August 25, 2020. You know, God is all around us. He's hovering over us, particularly when we're seeking His face. He is nearer than what we think or even dare to believe. If God's children daily meditates or daily ponders or daily recognizes God's presence, then they will never be they will never be alone again. They will never feel alone again. Amen. So ponder that. Because of His presence, He knows our every thoughts, uh, what we think before we even think of it. Or He knows the words before we speak it. That's how much He knows us. That's how, much power, that's how powerful He is and how personal God is. In Psalms 139 verse 1 to 4, it says this, O Lord, You have searched me and You know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You see, so God knows the words before you even speak of it. He knows our thoughts. So God's presence fills our innermost being. So it's very, it's silly and absurd or futile when you when we try to keep uh, our secrets away from God or we try to hide anything from God whether it be our sin and forgiveness or whether it be your anxiety or fear or your desire or whatever pains you hurts you God knows all of it okay now we can uh, deceive others so we can deceive ourselves so we, we can pretend but we can't deceive God God is all-knowing God knows what you're going through and what you're going and what you're feeling so uh, he is all-knowing and that should give us encouragement that even when we can't pray he hears and sees our thoughts all right it's unfortunate that there are so many people out there who run away from God they deny his existence and one of the serious excuses they make is that um, they're petrified they're terrified of God's closeness or God's presence it would cramp their lifestyle uh, it would just make them feel uneasy because God is there God knows their secrets. God knows everything about them. And so they just want to shun the presence of God and keep away from God so that they can live their lives. They are fearful of God in a sense. But we Christians should never be fearful of God because um, Jesus has cleansed us uh, with His blood and that we have been made righteous. And because of that, we have this access towards God where we can always call on His name, especially when we've done things that are really unbecoming and done in secret, that you can come to Him knowing that God would lovingly forgive you and take care of you and help you up and, and, and guide you. So what a beautiful thing. Ephesians 2.13 says this, But now in Christ Jesus you who once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's be blessed by God's intimate presence, His intimate nearness in our lives. Because it's in His nearness that we find uh, security, we find shelter, and we are in a company who loves us so much. Hallelujah. What a God is so beautiful. God's love is immeasurable. But since He is in our lives, we must be conscious also and allow God to live through us so that His light may shine in the darkness that surrounds us. His light might shine through 
people like our relatives or friends or strangers that are longing for comfort, longing for God. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says this, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Amen? Hallelujah. I hope you were blessed. And uh, let's go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you so much for this beautiful day. I pray, God, that those who are watching or listening this, to this uh, uh, message would be encouraged knowing that you do care. You know every thought. You know, Lord God, the answers to their situation. You see the tears that fall from their eyes. And I pray that this message will remind them, Lord, to, that they call on you to run to you and, and surrender their lives, surrender their needs to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For it is you, Lord God, who cares for them. It is you who cares for us, Lord God, and you have the answer that we need. We thank you, God. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God's good all the time. God bless you.